Hey everybody, how's it going? Marcos Viegas for Fight Up TV here in Las Vegas, being joined with Tim Zhu, who has a new opponent now going down on March 30th here in Las Vegas. Just faced off with uh, the towering inferno, Sebastian Fundura. First uh, look at him up close. How was yeah, that? Yeah. Well, well, what can you say? Like, he's tall. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, he's like, damn, bro, you're yeah. really nah, big. It's all good, man. It's all good. <laughs> How are you feeling, man, with, with everything that's happened? You know what? Like, with the circumstances involved, I feel like a machine right now, man. Like a, like a beast has un unlocked in me. Uh, hungrier than ever. Feeling rejuvenated you know it's a good feel um and i can't wait for this opportunity why do you feel like that as opposed to it could be very different you could be stressing out like oh man i got 12 days to to prepare for this guy that i i don't you know been preparing a whole camp for keith thurman yeah just belief belief you know uh, things happen for a reason uh the stakes are higher there's uh another belt on the line uh doesn't feel like a comedy show anymore feels like a fight you know <laughs> and uh, and i love that feeling you know i haven't felt this in a long time but i'm finally feeling it i felt it in the tony harrison this like this beast inside of me and right now i'm on a leash and i'm i'm, I'm getting contained you know but that that leash is going to break on saturday night it's going to it's going to be different it's going to be fireworks what what's causing that tim just uh, that, that build up like what yeah is it's it? just uh, i want to say anger just um i guess I guess the, the fact that Thurman came, the, the fact that the whole circumstance of Thurman pulling out and just triggered something, you know, triggered in a very, very good way, positive way. Mm. I saw the Zoom that you did the, the next day, uh, and yeah, it seemed like you were very, like, bothered. It seemed like you were pissed, like you were angry, yeah. like you're, you kept, like, you were doing something with your hand, and I'm like, because <laughs> people were kept bringing it up, and I'm like, I think this is the last thing, like, Tim wants yeah, to hear yeah. is like, ah, this, this, but... Explain to me, like, how were, how was the day you found out? What emotions were running through you, and, and just kind of put that day into words. Yeah, it was more like a shit, you know, like a mixture, mixture of emotions. Like, like you're preparing for a certain guy for ten weeks, and then it just completely it it shatters you, man. It shatters you. But with the mentality I've got, it just sort of just like made me switch mm. you know and I'm, I'm so glad for this switch it's it's made me just hungrier and just just, just yeah unlocked something in me so it, it happened on sunday right sunday night yeah who called you my manager came down to my house and like i was they were sitting with my coach and i, and I walk in and and like oh this is weird. Like, what are you guys sitting depressed for you know oh. <laughs> and then and then, and then i find out it was just like a broke heart heart just like went down i was like all right, so what's next? They said, Fandora. I go, Fandora it is. Let's go. Simple. No hesitation. Nah, man, no hesitation. Wow. I live up to my word, man, you know? I'm a fighter at first. There was, there's no hesitation. Um, no challenge is too big. And um, the word greatness came into my mind straight away, mm. you know? Uh, he's a complete different opponent to what I've been prepping for. But that doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Did you know exactly what happened to Keith? Did they tell you? Nah, don't no, care. Don't He's care. done. Finished. Because I know, like he hasn't fought in a long time, and you're inactive, and, and things like that can happen. Of course. Do you think you guys will get a chance to fight? Over nah, he's done. he's, he's done. He's finished. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't take stuff like that anymore. You know, like you, you did the dirty. That's it. Done. Whatever. Whatever the excuse is, it's done. No, I've heard he's going to be at fight week. Uh, I don't know. What would you tell him? Like, I wouldn't see. Like, there's a yeah, lot of yeah, anger there. Yeah, like, yeah. You know? I say, you're lucky. You're lucky. Yeah. You're lucky you're not going to get your head punched in. <laughs> yeah, what was in store for him? Like, how, how were damage, you seeing that fight? Damage. Yeah. Yeah, big damage. Mm. How so, though? Like, in what way? In, in every single way. To the body, to the head, he was going to be swelled up like a balloon. Mm. In everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, you know, you have a a. Would you consider him a friend, Brian? A friend? Who? Would you consider Brian a friend, Mendoza a friend? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, top yeah. low. So you you have a friend in Mendoza who's fought yeah. Sebastian. Uh, you guys fought as well. Yeah. Uh, been picking his brain at all uh, about uh, approaching nah, this? I haven't asked him anything. You know, I, I don't need I don't, I don't need to ask people much. I just I go out there, I do my own thing. I don't need anyone else's opinion. I don't need tips. Mm -hmm. It's all good. 
I got it all under control. So how are you going to control uh, this taller watch, opponent? Watch, watch, you'll see. Yeah? You know, watch, you'll see. I don't think he's ever fought anyone, anyone like me. So mm. the question, the real question is, what's he going to do when Zoo's coming for him? <laughs> Based on that, Tim, I have an inkling you feel you're going to get a stoppage in this I fight. I will, I will. Yeah. yeah. Does it come late in the fight or early on? I don't on know, man. Think? We'll see. We'll see how, how everything plays out. Um, I know it's going to be a tough, tricky fight. Mm. It's going to be hard to, to figure out a puzzle. So tall, long arms, awkward. Uh, but David did kill Goliath, right? Yeah. So uh, stories like that happen. You know, I, I, this thought just came to my head. I think it kind of puts Sebastian in an even worse position because you have all this resentment that I was supposed to fight Keith. You're angry about that situation. It's like you're going to take it out on, on Sebastian. Yeah, yeah. Who's outside of this is a really nice guy. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. calculated, but you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not emotional. Yeah, I'm calm and collected at all times, but I'm hungry, hungry, and uh, I've got this uh, ferociousness right now. Where does that come from, man? The ferociousness. I don't know, man. I don't know. Really, it's 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 just how I am. There's like two like, sides of me. You know, there's there's two sides of me, and when you unlock that one other part, again, it's like a right now it's a leash. There's a mm. leash on me. <laughs> Have you always been like that since a kid? To a certain extent, yeah. Yeah, yeah to a certain extent. Mm, okay. Yeah, they always say like be very wary of the quiet ones. Of course. And when I think that's like, of course. that's exactly what I think <laughs> is you. Like you're just quiet and you're just there, yeah. and it's like some something's not right here. Yeah, yeah. something's you know? about to happen. Yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. right. You know it. <laughs> you know, unification fight this is a big deal for you. you. Know, it's one step closer, I guess, to getting the undisputed opportunity, given what happened with the Charlo situation. Uh, if I know you feel you're going to be victorious, but I got to say, if victorious, when, uh, when, uh, what's your path there then to undisputed in, in your eyes? Um, well, look, there's there's the Madmirov just got the title. Uh, who, who else is there? Then there's uh, Kolkai versus... I uh, for, forgot the other guy's name. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, um, yeah. There's there's big fights to be made. Terence Crawford as well on the list. I was going to bring yeah, that up. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you were to weigh the two, I would imagine yeah, you'd want to go the Crawford course, route, right? you know, like, that's greatness right there, you know, mm. pound for pound type status. So, um, yeah, we'll see what the future plans, but I've got one big task ahead of me right now, and I'm solely focused on that. Mm. On the Crawford thing, I know you're focused on that, but on, on the Crawford thing, you're confident it happens? You have like a gut feeling like that fight I'm easy. Happen? I'm easy to make things happen. Yeah. You know, simple, mm -hmm. very simple. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's not my side that, that's making trouble. Um, we can make it happen. And finally, Tim, I asked you last time, uh, just get an update. Um, is your dad going to be not here sure. Not, not sure. Not sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't spoken to anyone, man. Yeah, because I, I just know. Just been locked in. My phone's in airplane mode. Yeah? Uh, so, yeah, I haven't spoken to anyone. Ah, uh, Because I, I know that'd be a treat for, for the fans. Of you course, know? of course. Because he's kind of like a hard a Hard, hard get. man yeah, to get. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I was surprised when he went to the WBC convention yeah, and, yeah. that he came out there. Do you see that video of him hugging Chavez? No, I haven't. I'll show you. We got yeah, it. We yeah, filmed yeah. it and stuff like that. But it's a, it's a cool thing. They embrace yeah, and yeah. they hug each other. But yeah, yeah. hey, what can fans expect in, uh, on the, the 30th, Tim? No one to blink at all. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Keep when your you, eyes open. When you talk, bro, <laughs> when you do those eyes, it scares <laughs> Sorry, me, dog. Sorry, bro. Sometimes it, it, I get in that. Yeah, <laughs> you do. This man right here, Tim Zhu, taking on Sebastian Fendura, coming up March 30th here in Las Vegas on Amazon PBC pay-per-view. I feel like we're in real life twins. I'm like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> what's up, everybody? Marcos Viegas here in Las Vegas being joined with the towering inferno, Mr. Sebastian Fondura, who is now taking on Tim Zhu. Man, um, how did you take the news? And just overall, it's not an ideal situation for either you or Tim coming into this. Oh, it was big news, big news. This is a title, a unification fight. So at first I was fighting just for the vacant WBC, but now they throw in the WBO and I'm fighting, let's say the best 154 right now. It's big news, big news to me, big news to the team. And of course I said yes. How did you find out? We found out on Sunday. We were doing the fence, me and my father and my sister. What do you mean the fence? We were doing the fence for our property. Oh, you're just working we're out just on the yard? Work, working out on the yard. And uh, my promoter calls my dad. He said, uh, Thurman got an injury on his arm uh, and the show can be canceled. Do you have uh, uh, we have an option for you guys? You can uh, fight Bolshuk later on, a later date, or you can fight Tim Sue. 
the same day, 30th, the, 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 um, the date you've been training for. And so, okay, we'll take we'll take Tim Su. Of course, he gave us 10 minutes. He's like, think it over, you know, because it's a big decision. It's a big fight. Uh, my dad hung up. We thought about it maybe for like two seconds. And we called him right back. Now, we're going to take this. Because it's, it's, again, two belts, a big fight. This is a pay-per-view card. I'm headlining the pay-per-view card. This is a big deal. Wow, so it was just instant like that. I instantly. You know, God sends messages to you, you know. And it's up to you whether you want to listen to it or not. Mm. Twelve days notice. How how do you change anything? Like, well, what can you do at this point? Well, not really, not much. But uh, uh, we've been training for a right-handed, a pressure fighter with with Boshuk, pressure fighter. He's a puncher as well. This guy checks all the boxes as well. Tim Su. He might be a little shorter, but other than that, it's it's kind of the same recipe. You know, when you look at him in the past performances, you know, he, he fought a a common opponent with you and Brian Mendoza. Uh, Brian got the win over you. Uh, he knocked out Brian. What, what he did can not you knock take? out. He didn't knock. It oh, was, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Yes. Make that clear. Um, but what can you take from that? Well, it's just uh, I wasn't the best for that night. I obviously showed with the, with the decision itself. But, you know, we've been training hard for a year. I'm ready. I'm ready for this fight. Uh, I felt this fight was going to happen eventually. But the fact that we're fighting now for two belts, it's, it's a dream come true. Style-wise, do you think he's ever seen anything close to you? And what do you think can give him trouble from what you've seen at this point? Of course, the high being a problem. You know, uh, you could bring in whoever. You're not going to find a Sebastian Fondora unless you're sparring or fighting Sebastian Fondora. So it's, it's, it's hard to find the work to, to fight me. I, I know it is because after these fights, everybody tells me, ah, oh, it's hard to find work or whatever the case is. But... You know, it's just ourselves being completely different. You know, we're a tall fighter. We find the inside. We're softball. All these things add up to make the tiring inferno. And it, it's just, I don't know. I'm not fighting myself, so I wouldn't really know completely, but I know it's pretty hard. How do you envision the fight? I envision a good fight, an exciting fight for the fans. You know, it's a definitely pay-per-view worthy. <laughs> you know, given your style, given your work rate, you know, how, how tough a, of a fight is it on uh, Saturday, on March 30th, you think? It's going to be the best fight at 154. Yeah? It's going to be the best fight at 154, but we've trained hard and we're ready. And we become, we're ready to become unified champions. Yeah, you know, I, I think a lot of fans are wondering how is he going to deal with your pressure, and, and your, especially your work rate, your nonstop work rate. Some uh, have said, like, hey, maybe it could be a good thing for you. He's not used to that. It'll overwhelm him. Others uh, may say, like, hey, he might find himself in a situation like he found with Mendoza where he leaves himself open. Yeah, well, we've been training again for a year. I'm more than ready. I trained very hard for this. We trained hard for another opponent, but God said let's tenfold it. So, you know, just just because it's the prices are, are, are higher or whatever, well, we're more, more than ready, you know. We're, and, again, we've been training for a long time. It could have been whoever. It could have been, I don't even want to throw out names, but it could have been whoever, and yeah. we would have been ready. What did you make of uh, the news, though? Th Thurman, I know you said it sucked, but like, him getting the injury at this point. Oh, it, it sucks. You know, I'm sure he had a great camp, you know. But to, to get an injury, especially at the end of it, and such a big fight, such a big return, it's not the best. But I wish him well. I wish him the best. And, uh, hey, if I become victor, uh, uh, if I win this fight, let's. how about me and him going to fight? Mm, all right, good stuff, uh, Sebastian. Is there anything else that you feel that people may be overlooking about you coming into this fight, given you said you've been quietly training, improving for a year. Um, if you overlook me, I'm, I, I could care well, less. Not, yeah, it's it's not, it's not hard to overlook. <laughs> if you overlook me, I could care less. You but, know? Okay, maybe let me rephrase it. D dismissing you because of what happened. Again, do what you want. This will make boxing, this will make sports interesting. Everybody has opinions. Uh, they can say whatever they want. I'm here. I'm fighting for unified championship fight. Uh, on short notice too as well i'm the real deal and i'll show you guys next saturday good stuff sebastian man thank good you. chatting uh, congratulations as well getting this big opportunity thank you so showcasing much. Uh, your skills in the main event thank here you. in vegas on pay-per-view sebastian fenora taking on tim zoo coming up march 30th on amazon prime pay-per-view